Hello everybody, welcome back to Pogdog Gaming. Today we are playing on Lifeboat Survival Mode on the Lifeboat server. It is a multiplayer survival world. And I might be spending a couple videos, I might make a couple videos on here. On Lifeboat. I'll try to make it the same world, if that's possible. But there are two players right here. And PvP is enabled, so sometimes if you get too close to people... They just start to kill you for some reason. So yeah. I'm going to just try to stay away from them until I get some more things. But I'm going to try to do this the quickest way possible. Like I'm going to show you guys like what the quickest way is to get things. Like as in how to get like to iron or diamond if you guys can do that. But the first thing that you need to know to get stone or wood tools is first thing to get wood is not to go punching down trees but find those surface chests that randomly spawn around everywhere and use those and there's usually wood or stone in them that you can use to make your tools there so you should use those to do that so I'll see you guys when I find a surface chest that'll hopefully have some wood in it all right guys I found a village here. Yeah, this isn't even updated to 1.14 yet, and villagers don't even spawn. It's kind of useless, though. Like, people have already been here. I know I'm probably broke breaking my own rule, but I could not find any service chest anywhere. It's so weird. So I just went and punched down one single tree to get me some wood to start with. I'm trying to find a crafting table around here so I don't have to make my own, because people sometimes just leave them around places. I don't want to waste any of my wood. There's one in there. Oh. I also got me some cooked steak. Wait, maybe they left something in this furnace? Yes. Lots of coal. And some stuff in this chest, too. Not stuff that we really need. But it's a start. Alright, now I'll use this and craft a wooden pickaxe. And now that I have a wooden pickaxe, this is what I like to do. So I know Minecraft says never dig straight down. But I'm not digging very far down. I usually just like dig down and get nine blocks of cobblestone because that's all you need to make a full set of stone tools. So now I'm just gonna mine around here so I get nine cobblestone. Hold on a second. I'll do this so I can see the amount. Six, seven, eight, and nine. There. And now I'll use these random ladders I found just to climb out. Because I don't want to waste blocks. Come on. There. Perfect. Okay. So now let's go back to that crafting table. And I'm going to need to parkour up here real quickly. <laughs> and now I can craft all these stone tools. A sword. Pickaxe. Axe. More sticks and a shovel there so now I got it like that there now I have all these things I know what we got to do is go back down and start mining some iron it's best to go in a cave that nobody has been to yet because then there will most likely not be any iron that has been taken so we need to find our own cave or we need to make our own cave or sometimes the surface chests tend to have iron in them Let's just go over here and see what we can find. All right? I found someone's house, but I'll let you know if I find anything else that we could use to upgrade ourselves. Okay, guys. I was just, like, you know, making a little staircase down here. I ran into some iron and coal. I don't really need the coal. I got plenty of that. But I'm going to start mining this iron. Hopefully, it'll help me. And hopefully, there's a lot here. 
So far, so good. There's a lot of iron here. That's good. That's really good. And it looks like we have run into another cave. An undiscovered one, I'm assuming, considering this it's completely dark and that there's a bunch of this iron here. Ten blocks of iron in one, one little vein. That's pretty good. All right, now, I'm going to add a torch here so we can look around. I'm going to look around in this cave now and hope, ah, hope that I can find some more iron or maybe even something better. I don't know what I'd find that's better, though, but I can't really use diamonds yet. It looks like it's just this weird little room. All right, well, I'm going to keep mining through these flat walls and maybe I'll be able to find something. As in more iron. Or right, I'm just going to start mining through here. And as I continue mining through here, I'll let you know if I run into something. Alright, here's more coal. And by some more, if I run into something, I meant to say... Well, I didn't mean to say, but I meant by that as in more iron. I don't really know off the top of my head how much iron ingots you need to get a full suit of iron armor and iron tools, but it probably won't take us that long, maybe, or maybe it will take us a long time, and I just don't know anything. All right, well, as I continue mining through here, I'll tell you guys if I run into something, okay? Okay, guys, so far, so good. I was just mining, continuing down the strip, and I have found another small cave, which isn't much. But at least it's something else to continue mining through here. Alright, here, let me just light up the place a little bit. Even though no mobs can spawn, it still helps to be able to see. Especially for you guys watching this video who it might be hard to see for. Because you're not playing this in person like I am right now. Alright, anyway, so from here, I guess I'll just start mining my way through here. Alright, hold on, this will be... A Bit of a challenge here i'll stand right here and i'll just mine that and get through here all right what ah it's happening again all right there we go now everything's normal again that was a weird glitch Oh my gosh. Can it like not do this? Please, can it just work normally? All right, now we're back in business. Okay, now once again, I'll tell you if I run into anything else. Right. Well guys, I have just found ourselves some more iron. So let's just see how much of this iron stuff there is. Okay, come on, not this glitch again. It's lagging. Oh my gosh. This is getting really annoying. It's been going on like this the whole time. Okay, now I can get the iron. Thank you. There we go. More iron. Perfect. Now we have 16 iron. Okay, so now I'm going to continue down this way. Hopefully, we'll find more iron. Or just more of anything. So far, it's just been stone and dirt. But I have a good feeling that soon we'll run into some more iron. My second pickaxe is about to break soon. So yeah, I'll come back. Honestly, you know what guys? I'm just gonna start heading back. I'll go back once this pickaxe breaks. Then I'll turn around and go back up to the surface. And then we can keep exploring this seed a little more. Once this pickaxe breaks, 
and the stupid stone stops lagging. And once we get up there, I guess we can start smelting some of our iron. All right. Well, that's the rest of the pickaxe. I mean, there could be iron right behind this block, but we'll never know. Here, let me check. If there's not, then I'm going back up to the top. All right, it's fine. All right, let's go back now. I will be back when I get to the top. I guess we could go smelting some of our iron. But we should probably go and find the spot because it might take a while. Well, let's see. We have three, here wait, three stacks plus four cobblestone, 16 iron ores, two blocks of andesite, five blocks of diorite, 19 dirt, and 21 granite. That's a pretty good haul. Now, it looks like you might be thinking that I got an enchanted book, but it's not. It's just like the survival mode menu. I moved it out of my hot bar. All right, well, yeah, that was a pretty good haul down there. I mean, next episode in Lifeboat Survival Mode, we could go back and keep looking for more iron, and eventually we can build ourselves a little house. But for now, we need to find somewhere to start smelting some of this iron, and then I can also, while that's busy, craft another pickaxe. Okay? So I'm just gonna wander around here now trying to find a good enough spot to get to work. Before I go running around everywhere and getting hungry, let's eat that. All right, now, let's find somewhere to go. This, let me see, what's over here? I might be able to find a spot over here there's some ice. This place is pretty nice. Alright, but I think what I'm going to do, I'll just go over here, dig into the dirt, and I'll place more dirt to look like nobody's over here, just in case anybody tries to come snooping around. We'll do this just to keep myself protected. And I just realized I don't even have a pickaxe. I totally forgot about that. Anyway, though, I can just craft a pickaxe right now, and then, hold on, I need more sticks, craft a pickaxe, perfect, and now I can go back, keep digging back here, getting me more cobblestone. Just find a little area back here. There's some more coal now. All right, this should be good. Now I need to get my dirt and cover it back up. That is not dirt, that is wood. Yeah, cover it back up like that. Okay guys, and now I need to make a furnace and start smelting all the iron. Okay guys, so that'll be it for this episode. But next episode, why am I so pale right now? All right, next episode, we will probably go hunting for more iron and we might get started on building a house because we got all these different new stones that we can use for like flooring design and all that. But anyway, the iron is smelting now. So let's just see how much of this stuff is done yet, okay? Look right there. Oh, all of it's done. That's that's actually, that was pretty fast. All right, now, I got all this iron waiting to be crafted. So anyway, see you in the next one, which will be episode two of Lifeboat Survival Mode. Goodbye.